The following segments are based off an idea we did not come up with. We really enjoyed the idea and thought it would be fun to use as a way to introduce the various people and groups in the esports program at Colorado College. This idea consists of asking our esports members a series of questions while they eat progressively hotter chicken nuggets. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm Will Landgraf. I'm a freshman. Uh, I'm playing Counter Striker now for the Counter Strike team, and uh, I play Smash on the side. I'm Victor Van Alabeg. I'm also on the CSGO esports team. Uh, I'm a sophomore this year, and some of the other games I like to play are Tag Pro, Splix.io. Both just internet games, and then I also play a little bit of League, but like not really. I don't know. I'm Andrew Choi. I'm a freshman, a team captain of the CS:GO team. Uh, I play besides CS:GO, I play Minecraft. Yeah. Do you have any expect expectations before you join the team, and did it turn out to be how you expected? We eat yeah. the wing yeah, first. Yeah, eat okay. the wing, and then you start. What type of is this actually chicken or is this bread? Okay. Delicious. Good. Personally, when I started this whole thing, I was trying to go for, just trying to start up a scene here, because Ellie came here and asked for a CSGO team and it didn't exist. And I expect everyone to do um, better than I will in the future. Yeah, I guess I came here last year and like I knew that there, were, I had like seen posters for the Overwatch team, so I knew that there was something esports going on on campus, but I didn't really know much at all. And I knew that CSGO wasn't happening last year, and I was really happy to hear that Andrew started up the team. I just heard from a friend of Will's, and I had the lowest and the highest expectations. Like, I didn't expect much, but I was also expecting to show up and get smashed by some kids who were just, like, way better than me. I didn't necessarily have many expectations, like, because the only expectations I had the eSports like, e was, like, I knew Overwatch was good, and, like, League was really good. I knew the team was just joining, they were forming, and, like, it, didn't, it just seemed like fun, so, so it's great. I'm going to hand you all some whiteboards, just in case, for some visual aid. So take one and pass it down. Describe CSGO. Feel free to use visual aid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Will you go whenever? Yeah. All right. So I have a drawing of Twitch chat over here because I feel like all speed, like all chat in CS:GO is like kind of crucial to the game. It's just a lot of like emojis, mostly the Kappa one, which I couldn't really draw, so I drew Kappa next to it, and then like just people just spamming Lamal and Lol like all the time, and then people like raging at each other and saying mad because bad. Like I feel like that really it, like incorporates all like the kind of meme aspects of like the players who play. And then here I just have like some key aspects like Dust 11, most iconic map I think. And then like what people really care about is getting hyped, which is like the we hot. <laughs> if you <laughs> know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, so like just getting hyped for each other and uh, and like just like general pro memes in general. Like a lot of CS culture is really memes and and also getting real hype. Like it's all about hype and memes. Uh, <clears throat> I drew a crosshair with a guy in the center of it. He's actually in the center of it, but he doesn't get killed for some <laughs> reason. Because apparently when you shoot a bullet and you die at the same time, your bullet dies when you die. So the guy doesn't get killed. Like it's on him, it's on him, but it doesn't kill him. Yeah. I don't get that. I feel like all caps energy is, <laughs> it's a lot of all caps energy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I took a very literal approach, so it's literally the, the bob carriers and the feasers, but CS is like, when you first start playing the game, it's like, I think the first question on everyone's mind is like, why when I shoot does it not hit people? Because you have to like, it takes like tons of hours to even just be able to shoot people. So overall, it's a really, really frustrating game at first, but once you get to a point of comfort and like subtle mastery, then it becomes super fun, and as Victor said, really hype. And I think that's why it's like one of the biggest esports, because it's just so like, such a high game, such a high game. 
Does your team build around the best player or try to build around amazing team composition slash strategies? I'm just gonna have to be in the head. It doesn't look like it has anything on it. It's because it's, it's green. Just, 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 oh. I think it's my team comp. Yeah, I've definitely sure. team comp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We definitely know who's on like the best on the team and what their strengths and weaknesses are. There's like, cause there's a huge skill gap when I like, first created the team, but uh, we've all come to getting around that. Yeah, I'd say we were all, or at least definitely me, I'll speak from my perspective, but I was definitely just a pugger when I first joined the team. Like I knew how to get my own frags and that was about it. Like I didn't know anything about team comp or really like good strats. And then I joined and, and we got like smacked in our first match and I was just so mad after that. Like I was just really pissed that we like just got royally destroyed by this team. And I think since then we've like made a huge, like we had like a real switch in our practice schedule of like actually working on team strats and like I don't know, we can still improve. But like we've definitely, there's no huge like star on our team that we just like work around and support them to frag out. like. It's more of a team effort, I would say. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I mean, we like kind of just started as a team, so it's kind of hard to build off around like the best player. You can't just be a bunch of individual people just playing like deathmatch on the same team. You have to be able to like work with one another and like coordinate like grenades and stuff. So that was definitely like something we had to learn, I think, as a team. But at this point, uh, I think our growth has started to rise pretty dramatically. So, what kind of tournaments and or competition? Does your team compete in? I think yeah, Andrew, you kind of tournaments or competitions. I don't like to taste that. <laughs> Before uh, we were doing scrimmages, so we were just basically going up against like nearby teams and actually being serious about who wins or not. And then CSL, the Collegiate Star League, came around, and I got signed up. Got everyone signed up for that. Um, and that's basically what we've been doing, yeah. Most of us don't really want to play more actual tournament style or league games because we can benefit more from practicing than we can from just getting smacked in pubs. Like, we know we're going to get smacked. And, like, there are some teams out there that we can compete with, and, like, we have done that, but I feel like we all have higher expectations than to just be, like, a mediocre team and just shoving yourselves into as many tournaments as possible is, like, not always the best way to do that. So like, yeah, we are happy with the games that we have, but we don't really, we're not striving to go much higher, at least for now. Describe and try to draw one of your favorite memes at the moment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fire water. <laughs> Definitely a little fire. All right. Sorry, my hair gets really itchy once it gets really spicy. That's just a thing. Your hair gets itchy? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know, I'm weird. It's not a good thing. I just get itchy, it gets like that. One of my favorite videos ever is this video where this guy is just like getting interviewed by someone. He says, my name is Scott Bradford. I'm 19. Well, I'm going to be 20 in December. And then he gets hit by a can. And then the video just ends. <laughs> in the head. <laughs> it's so funny. I think I've seen that. It's so funny. It's like a five second video. Okay, mine's like this Club Penguin meme. If you know like the Club Penguin uh, like pizza store that there is. Yeah. Yeah, like this dude goes in. It's basically just a video of like a text conversation happening, but it's dubbed over. We got bread on deck, bread on the flow. But it's really funny. They talk about bread and gluten. And he's like, oh, I don't want any gluten. Or he's like, we got gluten free bed. And he's like, I don't want any gluten, gluten. And he's like, well, it's gluten free. And he's like, take that out. <laughs> so I don't know, that's my favorite meme right now, I guess. So my friend, I can't think of anything on top of my head at the moment, but my friend said yesterday, it's a TikTok, I'm gonna F with ya, but minus the with. If you guys get what I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna F with ya, minus the with. My tongue is burning right now. Oh my god. I don't get it, dog. What do you explain yourself? Uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I thought it was, but. <laughs> I'm so bad with spice. Okay. This one, okay. it, like, it really is. No, this was nothing. Steadily dude. rising. It just that was keeps nothing. going. No, this is nothing, dude. Are we supposed to not be swearing? Hey, I'm buying. Yeah. <laughs>
How do you deal with toxic culture on gaming platforms? Oh God, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know what I do. All right, we gotta eat first. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers yeah. boys. All right. This one seems. I don't know. I mean, when I was, I have definitely a better tolerance of toxic culture now. But when I was a kid, it really like effed with me. Like I really hated it. I would. I stopped playing uh, TF2 for like two weeks once. This guy was making fun of me for uh, like not having skins or something like that, and he said I was a bad player. And I quit the game. I was so sad. But like at this point, it's just kind of you have to realize those people are just like doing it to get a rise out of you. And, when you're playing bad and someone tells you that you're doing bad, it like can really hurt. Like, oh my god, that feels bad. And most people are just nice guys, especially the higher level you get. Like, people are just nicer and nicer. And usually you can reason with people or just like mute them and like you'll find better teammates. Like your teammates will end up like, you're like oh, I muted that guy. And your teammates will be like, oh yeah, screw that guy. Like, we'll just play together. And like everybody just mutes him and I don't know. It's definitely more of a problem in the lower ranks than it is anywhere else, I would say. No, Andrew doesn't rage at all. You chill as Yeah, he's yeah. super chill. I just get really frustrated. And Rocky just doesn't talk, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he just has a problem. What is your favorite game outside of CSGO? I'm just going off the in the head. I have a feeling this one's going to really do some damage. Oh, it's definitely going to get worse, okay. Uh, all right, oh. Uh, yeah, so my favorite game is uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, for sure. I've been playing that game for like seven, six years now. Um, and I started playing it really competitively, like like two, or not really, I just went to like a few tournaments back home um, in LA, but that's by far my favorite game. Uh, no offense, CS. Um, but yeah, I love the community of that game. Uh, the top players are super interactive with it and engaging with the community and they're all so funny. Like all the top five are just some of the funniest individuals you ever meet. And the skill level, your skill ceiling, the ceiling in that game is basically infinite so people are constantly getting better and it's just such a good game. Um, it's by far my favorite game. It's a special place for mine. Do you have an answer? Oh yeah, um, can't think of anything but I started off gaming with MapleStory. You know, <clears throat> you know MapleStory. That's where I got my first wife. Um, I broke up three days later, but um, you know, she was pretty cute. What? 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 No, it's, 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 yeah. it's an MMORPG. It's like Sims? No, 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 it's an MMORPG, right? I think I like went to the pharmacy the other day to get a card. Care on your eyes. No, I'm good. And I spent like 10 bucks on her. And I was like five at the time. <laughs> it was good, good times, because, yeah. You're like crying talking about the yeah. story. <laughs> I think my favorite other game is Call of Duty. Just because I play... I play more of that game. Oh, actually, no. I changed my answer. Halo. Yeah. yeah Halo is fun. Which one? Uh, I have the most nostalgic connection to 3, but yeah. I like Reach a lot, too. Reach is a great game. That's um, the best. Yeah, I just like playing infected zombies on like a bunch of maps and duck hunts and like mongoose races and stuff like that like getting that the skulls was, yeah getting skulls i remember i had like the free version you got with the black xbox like when i got my black xbox i got forza 3 and halo 3 yeah like a four disc case and i like played an unreal amount of that game and like all my friends in my neighborhood would play and we'd wake up at like six so that our parents were in awake and we would play up until they kicked us off and then we'd get kicked off, and then we'd go hang out and like bike together, and then once our parents like left or something, we'd go to that person's house and then we'd just play more Halo. So, <laughs> I played a lot of Halo as a kid, and I like still love playing now. It's just a good game, good to play with friends, so yeah. What is your 2020 New Year's resolution, gaming or otherwise? Uh, 2020 uh, resolution? Yeah. Ugh. Poor game. You don't think it's that off? I think I just lost your hearing my right ear. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think for, as a team, like collectively, we can all agree that <laughs> uh, for this next year, we want to get better as a team in like in terms of like skills and stuff. So both individual skills and uh, team-based skills. Um, and then just for me, like gaming is not exactly been um, the priority of my life right now. Um, I haven't been playing melee as much, but in terms of CS. I definitely want to get better at that game. It's such a deep game. There's just, like it's really complex, and I want to get better at just like basic mechanics and just like strategy and stuff like that. So 
Yeah, it's my resolution. Ugh. I think my New Year's resolution for gaming is to just adjust my schedule so that I can play an unhealthy amount of hours while also like getting a decent amount of hours of sleep and like doing my work on time rather than just like getting three hours of sleep and like also just goofing around in the middle of the day. So I think that would be mine. Oh, I can't feel my face. I'll definitely uh, make the CSGO an official thing. Cause right now, that's the, the ultimate goal. I'm gonna stick with it to my dying breath. Cause it'll be all worth it when when one person were in, earns some kind of award, or we go somewhere, or yeah, the next batch of freshies do something great. And then I can die in peace. Yeah, it's yeah. like you RT, 80, RT. 80 year old. Yeah, and I can like, say it, I was a founding father. Founding, founding daddy. The old George Washington. The, the, fiercest kid Washington. Of, the fiercest kid of the pride. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we made an Instagram. Hashtag, yeah, check out the Instagram. Check out CCCS. Go. Go. Tigers. Yeah. On Instagram. <laughs> we all got player intros. Go ham. That's right. Nice, That's nice. right. Clean, yeah, clean, clean play. play. Woo! Now get the <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. This is a lot of fun. Hopefully you don't yeah. die. Yeah.